this team starts a great experiment this season. Usually, experiments of this particular kind end in failure. I will say usually, because every once in a while, and and literally it is that, every once in a while, a significantly imbalanced football team still manages to win because one side of the ball is so good that the other side of the ball is covered for most weeks. What you want to have is a Cowboy team like the early 90s. But these days, in the era of the salary cap, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you just don't get a team like the early 90s Cowboys anymore who were wonderful on offense and wonderful on defense and deep. That's just such a rarity in our time right now. But the imbalance of the Cowboys is an offensive team that with health ought to be very, very good. Romo, like we always do, cross your fingers as well at quarterback. The kid Ezekiel Elliott's going to be a fine, fine NFL runner. And with Bryant back, cross your fingers, passing game ought to be solid. All that is predicated on the fact that this is one of the very best offensive lines in the league. So the plan is for the offense to carry this team. Can they do that? Can the offense possess the ball a significant amount of every game every Sunday to cover for, my opinion, a lousy defense? The idea is simply don't give the ball to the opposition enough times to expose your defense. Now, let's take a figure for a moment. Let's take the figure of 33 minutes. That is a significant amount of possession in a football game. If you have a 33 and the other team has a 27, that is likely to lead the National Football League or be very close to leading the league in time of possession statistics. Now, obviously, you got to do something with the ball when you have it. You've got to generate points because the other team still, even with that massive amount of time of possession edge, the other team still is going to have your defense to work on for 27 minutes. And what defense do you have? A defense with a dreadful pass rush. A defense that's paper thin at linebacker. A secondary that's okay, but is constantly put under duress because the defensive line is not pressuring and sacking the opposing quarterback. The Cowboys, in an attempt to get a little deeper and a little better at linebacker, are again talking to Justin Durant. Justin Durant had two solid seasons here, 13 and 14. Now, he was hurt the back half of 2014. And he went to Atlanta, and he got hurt in Atlanta last year and missed some games. He is now 30 years old and injured the last two seasons. Do you worry about that? Well, for heaven's sakes, yes. How many games has Justin Durant played in the last two years of the 32 possible? 16. She almost sounds like a Sean Lee stat from the early to mid-career of Sean Lee. But we must remember something. Justin Durant was considered a good enough player and good enough fellow to be a captain on this team in 2014. We don't remember things like that very readily. Those disappear from our mind. But there really is a significance to a player being named a captain. It's it's much like Jimmy Johnson used to love to draft those type players, players who are conceded to be amongst the leaders on a team and thus named a captain. 
What Justin Durant will do is he will play hard. He will show up. He will give you a solid effort. Justin Durant would be fine to play middle linebacker here. Cross your fingers that he doesn't get hurt. Meanwhile, the only reason they're talking to Justin Durant is for Orlando McLean's 10-game suspension. So many of us, myself included, are just amazed that the Cowboys haven't kicked his butt so far out of this locker room that it lands in another time zone. Suspended 10 games to start the season. I have to tell you this. My criticism of Rolando McLean may be too harsh. But this is exactly the type of player I have learned to dislike so much. It is the type of athlete I've learned to dislike so much. I can't stomach athletes to whom God gave wonderful talent who don't seem to give a damn, who at times don't even seem to want to really play. Rolando McLean is a fine player. When on game day, he decides to be there and in shape and want to play. Rolando McLean had some good games last year. He had some poor games last year. I don't know how to explain Rolando McLean. I don't know how to explain a young man given tremendous talent with the potential to earn tons of money, who at times in the locker room still sits there openly wondering to other teammates, if he wants to continue playing this game. Isn't commitment one of the ultimate factors you need from a player? Justin Durant isn't as good a player as Rolando McLean, but he's a player. He'll commit. He may get hurt, but that's what you live with. The shame is we are choosing to live with a player who right now is, in effect, laughing at the Cowboys. He's taken their money to be an in-and-out player, suspended two years in a row now by the league, and thus damaging the Cowboy chances. 